been given some new regulations which effectively make the car wider and the tyres wider as well. The idea of these is to try to make the, the car look more aggressive and look more purposeful. We effectively have more mechanical grip and then we have more space to do aerodynamic work so that we can produce more aerodynamic downforce on the car as well. And ultimately that will make the cornering speeds go up, which means that it will be harder to drive. The loads on the driver himself will be harder and it will be a more, more difficult car to drive. These bigger, faster, wider cars have bought varying solutions at the front end, but one standout feature across the board is the return of the shark fin that first appeared back in 2008. We have a slightly lower rear wing this year, which is susceptible to some of the airflow disturbances that you get from the front of the car. So from our point of view, we put a shark fin on it, it uh, protects the rear wing in some circumstances. I think it probably is fair to say that it divides opinion in terms of its aesthetics. I quite like it myself, but um, some people think that it's, it spoils the look of the car a little bit, so it remains to be seen whether we'll, we'll still see them on there at the end of the year or next year. Getting the car to the start line is ever more testing when the regulations are new, but the factory is set up for fast delivery. There are very few parts of the car which are in any way evolutionary from last year, so effectively everything has to be redrawn, everything has to be redesigned. That puts a great deal of emphasis on the production capacity we have and also the design capacity. So they've been put under an awful lot of pressure. As an aerodynamics department, we like to make sure that we can release all of our designs as late as possible because the longer we wait, the more refined these designs are. And frankly, for them to be able to get a car out in the time that we gave them is, is phenomenal. The last three years may have been dominated by Mercedes power, but after a successful testing program, Red Bull are hoping their drivers Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen will be in the hunt for trophies. We're very fortunate with our drivers in that not only are they extremely quick, but they are very good at giving us detailed and, and very constructive feedback. So we got a very quick idea of, of what the car was like, um, where its strengths and weaknesses were. We always feel that we have the, the nicest looking car. I think it's a bit like people always think they have the nicest looking children. Um, but this year it's just undoubtedly true. I mean, we have by far the nicest looking car um, aesthetically. So I think everybody was very excited about that. Um, but also about the, you know, the numbers that we saw coming out of our tools pre-season. We see ourselves as a, as a challenger team. I think we've given ourselves a good basis. It's just a question of how we develop the car from here on in. And I'm, I'm very confident and I think we, we have a very good starting point and a team that's very, very fired up and motivated, so I'm, I'm fairly sure we'll get there. It's a new era for F1 as they look to re-engage the fans. The opening races will reveal just what 2017 will bring. I think it's very interesting. I think it will be good to see how much overtaking there will be and whether the new cars push the drivers harder than they have been before. So I think it's very exciting and I think hopefully the fans are all very excited about it as well because it is different, the cars look good and they're certainly going to be very quick so I think there's a lot to look forward to.